Hello reformers and welcome to Caribbean. Now there's been quite a bit of interest in this game and in particular quite a few of you have sent me private messages suggesting me to play this. So we are going to be doing that and uh, this is actually the first time I've booted this up. So we're going to head over to the options menu because I have not configured absolutely anything as you can probably see 16% difficulty rating oh my goodness okay so I do know that this game has guns so I have a feeling that we're probably going to be having quite a bit of hilariousness happen in terms of us getting one shot from a mile away perhaps let's just increase our damage modifiers quite considerably let's get our combat AI good and I'm not going to increase campaign AI I think you all know why I'm not going to do that and then we're going to increase our battle size as much as I can. I have not tweaked it at all in terms of its folders or files just yet, so we still have the default battle size at the moment. So is everything else okay? Usually I do have block direction on automatic. I am not that skilled, so yes, I think that should be fine. Oh yes, I do remember we need to change this a little bit. Now, let's see here. View orders, yes, we need to change that to middle mouse button, of course. That is wonderful. Okay, everything else seems relatively straightforward in terms of it being in the same engine as Mountain Blade. I do believe this is actually the engine that Fire and Sword uses, so that is good to know. Well, without further ado, let us start a new game and we will see what kind of... Oh my, what kind of screen we are greeted with, as you see here. Now... Caribbean is currently in the alpha state and has reached the stage where it could really use some feedback from players. The game has its basic features already in and content wise, we're 70% done. What we're mostly planning to do from this point is to build upon and improve what we already have with regular updates and your help. You might be put off by the current simple economic system, visually incomplete locations and balance problems. These parts of the game will be worked upon during the early access stage. So yes, there it is. Now, we are going to start the game and I want to quit without saving? Yeah, why not? Okay, goodness me. We are given relatively similar skills okay well that's fine and oh our attributes are staying at a very low level oh my goodness and we have trait points as well that's new okay i will look forward to checking that out very shortly oh my goodness this is new too okay okay so from what i can tell almost immediately it appears that agility and intelligence are a lot more important as far as i can tell athletics is now on the strength attribute Whereas before it was on agility, I believe. Riding skill is agility as well. Mm-hmm. That's the same. And what is this? Reduces damage and accuracy penalties for shooting and throwing from horseback. Aha. Okay, so that's agility as well. And party skill, agility. Goodness me, intelligence and agility do seem to be the way to go at the moment. Anything in strength here? It appears not. Most of it is all intelligence and charisma and agility. How much is strength here. Okay, so we have Iron Flesh, Power Strike, and that appears to be it. If you want to use guns, then Agility appears to be the way to go, and of course we do have Athletics on Strength. So it does appear that Intelligence and Agility are the way to go. Well, for me specifically, I'm probably going to try out a couple of guns here, so where are we going to get that? Helps the company to sustain itself with hunting and gathering. More food is acquired while the party is resting outdoors. Okay, well, precise shot. Each point in this skill gives a 3% chance to critically shoot a target through, dealing double damage. Huh, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? Should we go with that? Okay, let's see here. We'll go for precise shot. We'll increase our agility by one, our intelligence by one for now. And then we'll just increase our precise shot once more. And let's get some iron flesh. We want to get some leadership. Yes, we do have some leadership. And... Hmm. Oh, it also attracts more volunteers to your army this time around. That's pretty nice. And I would like to get some pathfinding so that we can actually run fast. I'm actually going to spec into intelligence maybe twice more. Because, of course, we do want more skill points. So let's go for one more in power strike, one more in intelligence. And then we'll go with what? What are we going to go for here? Inventory management? 
or leadership. I think we'll go for one in leadership just to make sure that we actually do get a couple of volunteers here. Who knows? And we're going to spec into firearms a little bit here. And traits, what are they? Aha! Oh my goodness. Okay, this is very new to me. So, let's have a look here. You've been able to make others follow you since childhood. Wherever you go, you easily find companionship. You have bonuses of plus three to maximum company size. And you actually do not have any points. Well, we don't have any points. But as you see here, we do have a wide variety of different things. And I can only assume that these are going to, I suppose make a difference to what kind of character you are going to play. As you can see, there are a huge amount of different things to select. Now I'm going to see what Sea King does. The sailors of your fleet don't fear the sea devil himself and are ready to follow you all the way to hell and back. So you get battle advantage during boarding actions as well as landing phases of naval sieges. Naval sieges? Wow, okay, that's new. Wonderful, okay, that's great. Well, there it is. Without further ado, we are going to be entering... Oh, no. Our hero name. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to go for here. And that may require some thought. Okay, so I know what you're thinking with this name. Yes, it is not as you think, perhaps. Yes, okay. Well, moving swiftly on, I went to a pirate name generator. I put in Barney's name, and that is what came out. So I thought, well, that is rather poignant, is it not? Yes, I attempted to put in my real name, and that really didn't come out with anything that was too impressive. At least this one is rather amusing. So we're just going to continue on with this. And, oh, now we can head over to the randomizer, or at least that is what I call it, because usually I do like to randomize quite a significant amount. Now let's just make sure that we get something that looks sufficiently pants downian. And, hmm, that one with the side, but, ooh, that looks pretty good. Okay, I quite like that. I think we'll go with that. That seems pretty good. Now, shall we make our age a little bit older? Pants down must be relatively... Old, I think. Maybe around there should be fine. What about the hair color? Okay, that's not going to make too much difference because we have a bandana, of course. So let's just leave it there. That will be fine. Okay. Those fabled lands of opportunity in the New World had seemed so promising. But shortly after entering the Caribbean, the ship you were traveling on was attacked by marauders under an unknown flag. Upon realizing that a good quantity of well-armed mercenaries were aboard their prey, they withdrew, but not before hauling your ship seriously below the waterline. The captain, realizing the ship would no longer last as far as the nearest port, chose to ground her on the nearest beach. Now at least you have solid ground beneath your feet, the better to reach the nearest town. Enter the Caribbean, of course, and here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is very... Colourful, I have to admit. Goodness me, look at this. Okay, so we have a huge series of islands here, and we have an even larger, I suppose, continent over here. As you all may know, I am pretty terrible when it comes to geography, so I do apologise about that in advance. So, oh my goodness, yes. So as you may see, the various villages that they are going to be adding are not around here just yet. So, yes, do bear in mind that this is still a work in progress. So, without further ado, we have landed on a beach, pants down Milt, and we're going to take a look at the party screen here. Oh my goodness, this is new. Okay, so... Hmm. Our ship is called the San Lucas, apparently, and... We don't actually have any of those skills just yet. We do have Pathfinding, which is rather nice. We could rename this. Shall we call it something else? Let us call it the Pants Downian Marauder. I do believe that would probably see fit to <laughs> suit us a little bit there. Okay. Well, we're going to move on to... Ah, there's the ship's captain, I suppose. And, yeah, okay. Well, we can't really do anything with them too much just yet. There's our character screen. There's our inventory. We have some field cannons here, which is going to be very impressive to see in action. We have some light bullets, and we also have a swashbuckling sword, of course. Okay. Now, we don't have any quests just yet. Okay, that is fine. Okay, well, without further ado, let us 
make our move and we'll see. Aha, yes, it is still in the alpha stage. Thank you very much. Now, let's head over to Merge and we will see whether we can... Aha, okay, so we're not able to acquire any volunteers. So that is different from Mountain Blade, as far as I am aware. So let's head over to the Kingdom of France. Oh my. Aha! Alms for the poor, alms for the poor. Please, young man, would you be so kind as to help an old sailor down on his luck? Sure, old man, have a piastre on me. There we are. Ah, thank you, sirrah. You seem to be a good lad. A rare sight in these stinking parts. Rare sight indeed. Hmm, I wasn't a beggar all my life, you know. Used to sail with old Flint himself, I did. Those days I needed no alms to quench my thirst. We would buy an entire town supply of rum, that is, when we were generous enough to pay. Ha <laughs> ha. Name's Jorge, by the way. Or George, however you want to pronounce it. Tell you what, you were nice to me, so I've got an offer for you. Look, I know where old Flint had one of his caches. Not a large one, but a plenty for two. I am too old and too broke to go looking for it alone. But together we can retrieve it. What say you? Ooh, I am all ears, my good man. In due time, young man, in due time. First, we should reach La Navidad and stock up on supplies. Meet me in the tavern there, will you? Agreed. See you there. Okay. And... No! Did we really just fail it? Immediately? Okay, well, that's a little bit of a bug, I think. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I suppose if it is not finished, then we would not want to do it anyway, just in case we were to get stuck in some fashion. But nevertheless, that is a little unfortunate, I have to admit. Well... Let's head over here anyway, and we'll see whether we can find anything in the tavern, perhaps. Who is this? Aha, it's one of the vassals? I wouldn't really want to say vassals, to be honest. Okay, so... Hmm. Visit the market square? Aha, okay, so that is the marketplace. Well, that would be a good idea to take a look here, just to make sure that we're not missing out on anything amazing. We do have 7,000 piastras here, which are amazing, so... We could, theoretically buy this pistol here, but we already have a pretty reasonable one, as well as some medium grenades. We could purchase those as well. Wow, some very nice, unique weaponry here, I have to admit. How about some armor? Oh my. Okay, so that is what strength is for, apparently. Yes, you do need to have strength to wear the fancier armor, I suppose. At least in terms of its protection value. So that is definitely something to think about right there. I'm thankful that we actually started out with such a large amount of money. That is very nice indeed. So, shall we go to talk to the guildmaster? I think that would be an idea. Oh, yes. What is your trade, my good man? I run the day-to-day -day affairs of the town, while our esteemed governor is busy fighting and reveling. And who is that governor of yours? Diego rules this town. I do apologize, I'm not going to <laughs> attempt to pronounce that. I've attempted it three times, and yes, I've cut out the failures. So, the governor rarely blesses us with his radiant presence, though. Other than to feast in the palace, collect taxes, or sign up some naive fools to die in his battles. Most of the time, we are left alone, and I am the closest thing we have for management here. I see. Thank you. Yes, okay. What is your trade? Well, yeah, okay. Thank you. Now, is that the guildmaster? That is the guildmaster. So, he's not going to give us a quest, that is for sure. Let's talk to the garrison commander. Aha! We can hire some soldiers here. And... Which colonial troops? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have a huge amount of Spanish troops here that we can get. Ah, well, I can only assume that the Spanish Colonial Dragoon is one of the highest levels, and is probably going to cost the most, so we do need to be a little bit cautious when selecting what we want here. Well, let's go for a Spanish Marine, and 125 piastras to hire. Okay, well, let's get... 10? 1250. Okay, well, why not? We may as well. I don't really want to purchase some cannons just yet, so that's 10. Do we want to go to the harbor? I'd like to buy one of your ships. Shall we? Yes? Okay. Oh, this is appearing to be our ship? Is this our ship? Maybe. I don't think so, somehow. Wow. 
Okay, so we can repair. We can add an upgrade. Hull cleaning tools. Oh my. Aha. Oh, okay. So this is what we can buy for 1520 an armed boat. Do we want to do that? I'm not entirely sure whether we actually have a ship. Yes, we do. There it is. Okay, so we actually do have a ship. So I don't really need to waste money on buying a new one. That is good. Now, I'm wondering where are the other pirates or the other bandits, shall we say. Let's head over here. Oh, what is that? Smugglers! Aha, this will be a good time to test out our party, will it not? So, let's see here. What do we have? We have some Spanish... Rodoleros? Okay. And we have some Spanish Marines as well. Okay. Good. Well, I think it's about time that we actually get into a battle. So, let us head over here and take these guys out. So, we have two ships ready for battle against two of the enemy. There is a light breeze blowing from the southeast. Raise the sails and prepare for battle. Now, of course, this is the first time I'm doing this, so I have no idea what to press. Aha! Thank you very much for the tutorial. Oh my goodness. I was about to completely kill myself right there. So, use the W, A, S, and D keys to steer your ship and change her speed. To fire at enemy vessels in range of your cannons, hit the space key or left click on the target. Use the buttons at the lower right to fire individual gun decks. Switch to chain ball if you want to slow down an enemy ship or to grape shot. To decimate her crew. In order to board a vessel, close down to it until the boarding prompt comes up and hold the F key until the bar is filled. So at least I know how to... Aha! There we go. We're steering it. This is wonderful. Okay, this is actually very cool, I have to admit. So let's see here. We can fire individual gun decks here. We can change to grape shot as well. What is this? This is cannonballs. So that is what we need to use against the majority of their ships, I think. Now, I am hoping that we'll be able to turn fast enough. Now, where are the enemy's units? Oh, wait a minute. I'm actually turning away from them, I think. This is us, isn't it? This green one. Yes, it is. Okay, my mistake. I do need to make sure we know where our enemies are before I start to do any of that. Now, if only I could turn a little bit quicker. Ah, I can speed this up. Wonderful. That is a very good idea to speed that up. Great. Okay, so now I'm actually going to go even faster. Let's go for triple speed right now. And we'll see what we can do once we get there. Now, as far as I am aware, I do not believe that there... No? Oh, I can fire at them, but I don't believe that I can actually fire a front. Can I fire at the front? I don't believe so. So, let's see here. Once they get a little bit closer, I will go to double speed, and we will see how well we do in a side-to-side -side confrontation, I suppose. Come on, guys. Let's do this. Oh, yes. Okay, come on. Oh, hold the use key to attempt a boarding. We could do that. Should we do it? Yes, why not? We were able to do it. Okay, wonderful. Command your boarding crew from the stern or from the bow. Or lead your boarding crew in the thick of the action. Yeah, why not? We want to do that, of course. So we have 25 against their 15. We should be okay. I do have a pistol, of course. So, oh my goodness. Okay, what was going on there? Okay, well, we are here. And hopefully we can take these guys out. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. 76 damage immediately. Very nice. Let's hopefully not get shot by them, however. I'm pretty sure they're just going to be as effective, if not better, than I am at shooting. There we are. Take that guy out. Very nice indeed. Pants down Milt has his first two kills. There we are. Take that guy out as well. Look at my spiffing hat as well. He's very pleased with himself, is he not? Wonderful. So let's just shoot that guy before he's able to fire another cannon shot at our units. There we go. Okay, so it appears we have hopefully captured this ship. I'm not entirely sure whether you can do that, but it would be rather wonderful if you could. There we are. We took out all of the enemy's units, and we are now able to loot some sausages and some olives. I like olives. That is fine. Very nice indeed. Aha! Look at that! Aha, yes, this is good. This is very nice. They are joining our collective one by one. You succeed in the boarding action. In all, one sailor from your ship's complement perished during the battle. 
and a large sloop, which is, I suppose, the name of the ship, or the model of the ship, was captured by your boarding team. Okay, well, we want to add the captured vessel to your fleet. Do we not? I think we probably want to. Yes, there we go. And, oh, now we do have a secondary ship to attack, as well as we have this one here as well. So where is our enemy? I believe it is behind us. So let's speed up a little bit while we are turning. Make sure that we turn fast enough so that we can get into the action. Maybe this time around we will do some cannon fire. So let's just see here. Which one is our enemy now? That is the only problem. I think it's this one. Yes, it is. Wonderful. So let's try to speed up and catch up to it. If we can, maybe we'll be able to capture it again. That would be rather nice, so that we'd have four ships in our fleet. And we could maybe even take on some of the harder units in the game. Ooh, at the moment I'm not having a very good time of catching up here. Maybe we could use these chain balls here. Let's try to do that. Gun's not loaded. Really? Okay, now they are loaded. Wonderful. Firing. Yes. Let's try and slow that guy down if we can. I'm not entirely sure whether we're even firing at the appropriate angle at the moment. I do believe we have forward firing guns, but at the moment I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Okay. Wait a minute. What is this? Line formation. Aha. Okay. Well, let's just hope that they don't actually take out some of our units here. I'm actually unsure. Aha. We can lower sails. We can have full sails. Well, we definitely want full sails, I think. Aha, the wind strength. Okay, so that is something that we do need to take into account, of course. We need to make sure that the wind is behind us to make sure that we have the greatest amount of top speed. So let's hope that we can actually do that now. I am going to fire, hopefully slow these guys down. Now, aha, the enemy's actually decided to board our vessel. How dare you? Well, we're going to lead our boarding crew in the thick of the action once again. They only have five units. Not entirely sure why they decided to do this, but nevertheless, we do have pistols ready for battle. And I am hopefully going to teach them a thing or two. So, have they boarded us just yet? No, it appears not. Let's just take out this guy if we can. Ah, okay, come on, reload. Ah, unfortunate. Okay, it appears I am a little bit too inaccurate at the moment to be able to take that guy out from downstairs, so we're going to have to get over there with our amazing slashing weapons, and we'll see what we can do to him. Oh, never mind, it appears our units are too good, so maybe what has happened is we have too much money at the start. Well, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. We do have 5,800. We are going to add the captured vessel to our fleet once again. And there we are. We have won the battle. We have increased our relation with the Commonwealth of England, which is always a good idea, and the Kingdom of Spain and France, as well as the Republic of the Netherlands. And we have gained two renown as a result of that. So there we go. That is very nice indeed. Now, has anyone leveled up? We could add some sailors here. Ah, there's the Pants Downey and Marauder. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> I have renamed the wrong ship, by the looks of things. Okay, well, don't worry about that too much. Now, do I have to add any sailors? Transfer nine sailors from other ships? No, I don't think we really need to at the moment. So, can any of these fellows level up? It appears not. Okay, so I'm used to warband quite a bit. I'm not used to fire and sword at all, so do bear that in mind when I am making rather new decisions, shall we say, yes. Okay, so, without further ado, I think that would be a very good time to end this episode off here, and next time on Caribbean, we will hopefully be able to take out some even greater forces of pirates. I found that ship battle to be rather impressive, to say the least. I would like to get a little bit of ship-to-ship -ship combat next time around, though because, of course, we were boarding them and they were boarding us a little bit too much. So, yes, that would be rather nice to see. And, of course, bear in mind, I will only make another episode if you guys would like to see more. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.